Yes, yes, yo, yes, yes, yeah. It's another day, it's another day God has made. We are still alive. But we are still alive. Corona. Yeah, welcome to the Kenyan channel, uh, which deals with healthy food. Yeah, and if you haven't subscribed, can I ask you to do so, so that you can continue enjoying Food is life and life is food. Siju kama unakula kuisha ama unaishi kukula. Moja tisa kumi yote ni sawa tu. Today we are going to be preparing some uh, garlic naan with butternut soup. So today um, we have all our ingredients set up. So I'm going to start. We are actually going to start with the garlic naan. And Phyllis is going to be my co-chef. She's also a very good chef. Good in the kitchen, Phyllis. Are you not? Uh, I tried to find my way. You tried. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not lost yet, okay. but um, we try. Sour, sour. So today, um, we are going to mix our ingredients. So what we are going to need for this garlic naan, we are going to need all purpose flour, some sugar, some salt, some baking powder and baking soda, and for garnish, we are going to use coriander leaves. So we we'll go straight into the mixing. Please, uh, you, you may help us. See so your problem. Great. Let me wash my hands quickly. Let me also wash my hands. So we're going to do two cups of our purpose flour. Two cups. Should I be pouring the flour? Yes, yes, yes. Please start on my behalf. Uh, this is uh, equivalent to a cup. So we are using American standard. This is a cup. So let's measure two cups. So let's do this. Guys, whatever you're watching from, I hope you're taking notes because this recipe is very, very high class. So let's do two cups. Uh, Tina, why not self-raising? Um, actually, they both do the same job. Mm -hmm. So if you're using self-raising, there's no need of adding any baking powder. Okay. But today we'll use all proper. Can I put it for you here? Yeah. Just that's just one cup. Can I point? Yes, it's okay. 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 Our second cup. So best kitchen practice is to mix your dry ingredients first. So we're going to use some, can I have a teaspoon? Uh, some sugar. We'll do one teaspoon of sugar. Teaspoon. Can you use one teaspoon? Okay. We'll estimate. So this is about a teaspoon of sugar and a teaspoon of salt. This one is so is the ratio supposed to be one is to one, salt is to sugar, or one is supposed yes. to be less? So depending on your taste, you can use equal amount of sugar and salt. Okay. So today that's what we are doing. And I already mixed my baking soda and baking powder. Baking so soda and baking powder. Yes. Okay. So we mix our dry ingredients all together. So, after our dry ingredients are ready, now we'll do our wet ingredients. So, for the wet ingredients today, we are using mazuwalana. This is also known as buttermilk. It's about a half a cup. Half a cup goes in. So, a half a cup goes in. And some little oil. About two tablespoons. So, we'll do some two tablespoons of olive oil. Can I mix? Wait. You can just put a bit. Let's first okay. put in all the wet ingredients. <coughs> so must it be uh, olive oil? So today olive oil is the oil of our choice, but you can as well use just coconut oil, avocado oil, avocado oil. Those are some of the healthier oils. 
So that's our olive oil. Yes, fillets, you can go ahead and then mix them mix. Okay. And I'll show them how we do the kneading. So, so all our ingredients are mixed now. So we're going to go ahead and do the kneading. So this one needs a bit of muscle. <laughs> if you have not worked out today, this is going to be a good workout. So Phyllis, are you ready? Uh, I'll pray to the Lord. Okay, I have some muscles. So this is how it looks before kneading. And now, this is where they say we get our hands dirty. So, we're going to start yeah. mixing. So as you mix, you mix in circular motions as you press the dough down. So, can I put uh, the pour in a cup? So we are trying to achieve a fairly soft dough. So the softer it is, the better. So we need to knead it until it's fairly soft. And then I pour. Yes, just pour. Little at a time. That's enough. So you pour the water, the lukewarm water, little at a time until you achieve the consistency you like. So should it be wet? Or should it be a little bit dry? So it should be not too wet, not too dry, just the right amount. The consistency between this one and the the chapati. chapati. How's the what's the difference? Actually, for this one, in chapati we use a little bit more oil, more oil than in garlic naan. So today it's a bit sticky, so we add a little bit of flour. So you add your ingredients little at a time until you achieve the right amount. So in Kenya they say this one you should need someone when you have a full of that to be able to to knead this dough to the right perfection to achieve the softness just a little bit yes that's just the right amount that's okay yes. okay, we have a little bit more that's okay it's perfect so our dough is product is what all of this mess. The result is food care. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We are sorry you will not taste, have a taste you of must our to taste. amazing food. So now, um, tapula for macho. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let's start with the <laughs> So we are almost there. So there's no particular, I normally don't count the minutes. I just need until the ancestors say stop. <laughs> so you Wait. just keep doing it. <laughs> you just keep doing it. Okay. It's the best technique until the ancestors, until you feel it's ready. Does this qualify as a quick fix meal? Um, this one, not quite. Not quite. Yes. It's a little bit of fish. It needs a lot of fish. So. Phyllis, to know that you've done a good dough, mm -hmm. it has to come together. Like, 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 see. Harmonia. Yes. So it needs to come together. So you can see it's not sticky. Can I get it? It's actually soft. It's soft, yeah. So it's not sticky and it's not also too dry. So this is how you should, you should do it. So to tell whether this dough is ready, you have to press it. When you press it and it looks like it's springing back, that means it's ready. So our dough is ready. So for this dough, we are going to let it settle for 10 to 15 minutes. And then we'll begin the rolling process. I think this is the fun process of it all. Please, don't you think? Uh, for me, it's the eating part. That is Yeah.
there. But for today, we have some ready pre cooked butternut here because of time. This is how it's looked. Water that we steamed with and some hot milk. So, Tina, you need to help me with a cup. You need a cup. I need a cup. Okay, for the milk. Christy, I don't know. You're going to mix the butter with the hot milk to help with the texture for the stew. So today we are vapor cooking the butternut. So in salad masa we don't boil and we vapor cook our food with no water. So while it's melting inside, I'm going to pour my ingredients into the blender. A quick fix when you're hungry or a very nice starter for your lunch or dinner. It's colorful and the water that we boiled our butternut with, or oh, sorry, steamed some coriander. Some milk with the melted butter inside. So, Phyllis, this is a very easy recipe. Yes, it is. It's very simple to do. It is. So, it needs patience when you're hungry. If you're hungry when you're making this. So, don't make this when you're hungry. <laughs> Unless you have the patience of the world. We are going to blend this. Tina, can you pass the minute? I hope you're on for the noise and ready. You have to keep checking. You don't want it too thick. You have to keep checking the inside. Remember to keep checking as often as you can. So, Phyllis, um, should it be thick or thin? Uh, and, um, not thick, thick, not thin. Yeah, just if you want it as a snack, mm -hmm. maybe just butternut garlic mm -hmm. soup should be a bit thicker. The mm -hmm. consistency should be thick. Okay. So you can use more of milk mm -hmm. than water. Okay. Yes. So let's mix. <laughs> Yes, uh, you can also add milk to balance the consistency. Thick. You like your yeah. soup thick. That's good. 
So we can go ahead and stop this. Great. Yes. And the cameraman is also salivating. You can you can choose to garnish with some coriander. Okay. Just on top. Can I do this all on my lace dough? Just a nice touch of dania. You know it's good for food to look nice. You know you, you yeah. eat with your eyes before we, you eat with your mouth. Yeah, Felix, do you agree? The so the rest is snack. Mine is a butternut soup. The ingredients are butternut, garlic, onions with some spices uh, and milk. Um, I don't know about you. They look actually quite similar. Yes, they look similar yeah. in color, isn't it? They are yeah. going well together. So for the garlic naan, uh, of course we need garlic as the main ingredient. We also need all-purpose flour, baking powder, baking soda, some salt and sugar, and also some maziwalala. So that's the recipe for this garlic naan. We're waiting for I can see, I can see. <laughs> Remember, we didn't use any salt in our ah, soup today. Okay. We didn't use uh, the cold what? Any the, 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 the additives okay. to make it spicy, but you can add pepper. Okay. I understand people from the West Side love pepper. You can mm. use your pepper. Okay. You can use any other food that you want. You can actually customize this to your preference. Yes. yes. You can use ghee, you can use buttermilk. I like it this way. Okay. My boss also like it this way. She's called Irene and she is in Italy. I'm so jealous. I know. Yeah. And we miss her so much. <laughs> so you can glaze with whatever you want. Some people choose to just do butter if you don't like garlic too much. So you can either glaze with butter or butter and garlic or you can even have it plain. So for today, I will have chosen this glaze. And what we are going to do is to dig in without Hesitation. Without further ado, please do. Please, let's yes. do the honors. Let's do the honors. I cannot yeah. wait. Guys, I, guys, I wish you were here because the smells from this room. Oh, this is mine. Eh? Yes, that's I'm getting the one that is a lot. I'm jealous. So, <laughs> cheers, Felix. Cheers, cheers, cheers to good food, Not healthy that. food, healthy food, but excellent, but excellent but chefs. Excellent chefs. Not as sisters. Ah. Mm. Guys, wow, wow. Mm. So, guys, uh, serving you today. So, tune in for our next.